we are back with the car vlogs. To be honest, it's been so long since we vlogged that it kind of feels a little awkward. <laughs> um, just holding the camera up and everything again. But Randy and I are celebrating our Valentine's Day this weekend because on the on actual Valentine's Day, one, we worked, but two, we ended up celebrating with my parents. <laughs> so that was cute. And now we are headed to Long Island um, to have our own little, I guess, getaway. Are you excited? video is um, a really cool I guess story and it's a story of how we met and what inspired us to talk about this is because last week when we were with my parents my um, aunt and uncle were actually there too and they were asking like how did this whole thing kind of start and I figured that'll be the some cool content to just share with all of you so we have two very different stories on how this whole thing began um, how do you recall how we met? Not even like when this when we like started being interested in each other. Um, I don't know. I had seen you around because we went to the same school. Well, like we're college we, sweethearts. Yeah, we went to the same college, and I had seen you around. Like I think you were in the business school, and I had seen you there. But I was like, she seems like she's all about our business. So I was like, whatever. I worked in the school of business. Like we were, we were both business students, but I actually worked in the um, offices there. Mm -hmm. I had seen you there, but I was like, whatever. She's just there to help. So whatever. And then, um, uh, where else? And then that, again, we lived in. We somehow ended up living in the same, the same hall. So like, I would see you like when I would come back from the bars and stuff. Like I would see you at <laughs> six in the morning, like. <laughs> doing laundry and I was just like I'm trying to sober up and I'm like oh what's up that but is then, true whatever. that is very true but it was like I had a rough start to my senior year of college and my reaction to that was to not kind of go out and not do too much basically so yeah so he's right I would do laundry at the weirdest times because I didn't want to deal with like other people you know it's like going to a laundromat you wanted all the machines to yourself yeah so I would see you doing that and then um then i heard about the the opportunity to study abroad in spain mm -hmm. so i was like at first i was like nah i'm not gonna do it but then I, I was just like you know it's an experience let me try to do it so i signed up whatever and then i don't know how but one of my friends who i guess he knew you he said i don't even know how I, yeah well i don't know he said he knew you so we went to this like there was this event where like this person would read your handwriting and can tell your whole life story so it wasn't like a psychic or anything it was more so based, based on, on your handwriting they can like tell learn something about you and it was so inaccurate what did she say that for you like you never had she said, a father figure or something yeah i never had a father figure <laughs> she said like i had broken a leg one time and i was like oh. from your handwriting anyway but needless to say it was not accurate at all and then, and then um what else? I, I guess yeah so i'll pick up from there um just to kind of give you some back history like i had studied abroad in 2014 in spain um and then come 2015 my favorite professor was telling me that i should go back because she was running the program and it would only be a month long and i'm like no i was literally just there i think it's kind of crazy to like go back um but whatever i end up deciding to go and then like randy says we meet like, our first conversation was at that program and he really wanted me to be in his group because we had to do a group assignment and i was just like no thank you like i'm gonna work by myself i don't want to be in a group so every time we saw each other after that he would say that we should like you said no. you would think about it and i was like oh like did you think about it <laughs> like i would see you and i'd be like oh hey like i just think about it I feel like I never answered the question. And you were just like, oh, like I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, the guy and was then not... After, you would say, yeah, I, I think I will, it's too much. I'm gonna ask the professor. But now, it's like, every time I, it was like, I was be beasting for you to be on when it was never like that. So fast forward to 
graduation. I feel like that was foreshadowing so much. So it was my undergrad graduation and I'm like moving out of the dorm and I'm like carrying stuff and I'm with my mom. Um, and Randy is in his car. He's pulling out of the parking lot. He slows down. He's like, oh, I'll because literally we're going to Spain like in two days. He was like, oh, I'll see you at the airport. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you at the airport. <laughs> and my mom was like, oh my God, who's that? I was like, oh, it's just some guy who's going on the trip. She's like, oh, wow, he's really cute. And I'm like, okay. It, again, I think I was just not in like the mental headspace to even entertain the thought of liking somebody. That it was very much like... It, it just didn't mean anything um we see each other at the airport there's a whole group of us and just the two of us that were studying it was like a group of us studying abroad and yeah i was like the student assistant of the group so tell them about that yeah so <laughs> again i had i thought she was cute so i was like whatever let me try to talk to her throughout like college but it never really worked out mm -hmm. and then once we got over there like finding out that she was a student assistant i was like oh then i really can't put in no work because if they find out that i'm trying to like talk to the student <laughs> assistant like they're gonna send my ass back to the united states um so i didn't have any kind of authority like that i was just the middle person between the students and the professor i guess it, it seemed as if it, I was like the boss, but I was very close to the professor too. I'm sure that didn't help because I was really, really close to her. Yeah, and that professor yeah. was my biggest fan. Yeah. She didn't really like me like that. So she whatever. Um, but yeah, I was just like, nah, I can't. And then I, I was getting like signs here and there, but again, I was just like, nah, like it can't be. Um, I had a. She couldn't even remember my name over there. Like I was just like. <laughs> I don't know, but she kept pinching me yeah. every like day, like every every hour I would like get pinched, and I was like, yo, like at first I was like, okay, maybe she, is. but then like, really the, fact, <laughs> the fact that she couldn't remember my name, I was like, nah, this like whatever, and I was just like, I, there was a point where I was like, yo, like leave me alone, like you're pinching me, trying to be my friend, and you don't know my name, like. Yeah, I don't know. I think I like wanted his attention. I don't, I don't know what it was. Maybe I guess in retrospect it was probably flirting. Um, no. I thought it was. I, maybe I thought I was flirting. I don't even know. I, I I don't know what that was about. But I did pinch him a lot, and he would pinch me back, which is crazy. He would pinch me back. Uh, I couldn't remember his name. I swear on everything I love. Like I could not. It just it wasn't working. I couldn't remember. I was I was getting him confused with his roommate. Um, crazy i remember that i had pranked you do you remember that when i had like messed up your paper remember like he said like this professor wasn't like his biggest fan and i'm over here like sabotaging this paper that he's handing into her um so that was that and then i don't know i remember we went to nice like the south of france um are we focused no we are we went to nice south of france and I think it just happened there. I feel like it was like at that point there was like a mutual understanding that we were into each other. Um, I got really sick when we were there and he took care of me. We came, got back to Spain. We were in Barcelona at that point and I was so, so sick. Can you stop? We got back to Barcelona. I was super sick. He was like taking care of me. It was really cute and I think, you know, by the end of the trip we kind of had this understanding that we were into each other. Um, and yeah, so a, f a few days after we get back to the states he's like oh we should go on a date and i'm like okay like oh i've never been asked like, on a date like that so i was so excited come the day of the date i am freaking out i remember i had my sister praying with me literally praying because i was just like i can't do this like i'm so scared i'm so nervous like what am i thinking and what did you think because i took really long to come outside yeah I I pulled up, I had like, I knew the area a little bit because I had a friend that lived over there. Mm -hmm. But I'm waiting there for man long. And then after a while, I start thinking like, nah, she's gonna get me beat up. Like, she's like, I'm like making sure I'm check Cause it was like no people on the block. Yeah, we so live, we're, like, we're both from the Bronx, but from very, very different neighborhoods in the Bronx. I feel like to, for him to go from an area that's like super populated to where I lived, that it's like nobody's even outside. Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. So I was like, nah, she sent me up. Like, <laughs> I'm about to like call, call someone like, yo, this is my location, come find me. And then I was just like, I don't know. Yeah, and then um, from there, that night, we went out to eat, and then we saw Dope. Um, 
and as the night ends like he's laughing because he knows what's gonna happen <laughs> the night ends and he's like um shit i forgot the exact way you worded it but i'm in the car right like he's already dropping me off and he's based in a nutshell he's like do you want to be my girl and i was just like speechless i had i said nothing he was like oh we could take it slow I'm like i think that's a better idea and i'll tell you why like yes we studied abroad together but i didn't know him he didn't know me and i felt like what kind of relationship is this if we don't know each other so he ended up asking me out august 26th so cute uh and that's two weeks before my birthday so every year this guy over here never lets me forget that it's my fault that our anniversary and my birthday are weeks apart like literally I think it's less than 10 days of work. Something like that. It is really short. <laughs> yeah. And that's the story of how we met. We should do another one on how we got our name. Because I feel like people don't really understand why we go by. So pretty much. Yeah, we'll save that for our next one. We'll kind of explain it. There's not much to it, but we will explain where that came from. Alright. Stay tuned. We got some really fun videos coming up. Um, yeah, we should have two like really awesome ones coming out after this so thank you guys be sure to comment like share and subscribe and randy's in his car he's pulling out of to exit 49s state route 110 south amityville <sighs> sorry that's way